love the Ray-Ban Aviator but aren't sure which size to get? Stay tuned to go over the measurements for each and see helpful comparisons on models that they fit so you can ultimately pick out your aviator size. Hi, I'm Gabriella, the Ray-Ban brand expert at SporterX, and one of the most common questions we get is, how do I know my Ray-Ban aviator size? If you followed our channel, you might have noticed that we do have an aviator size guide from a few years back, but we're here, older, wiser, and with new information to share. So what we're gonna do is break down the three aviator sizes, look at those measurements in depth, and then also see them on models that they fit. So ultimately by the end of this video, you'll be able to say which aviator size is going to fit you best. Before we start, just a few fit features that are specific to the aviator that I'd like to point out. The first being that it has an adjustable nose pad. I love adjustable nose pads because this is really how you can customize the fit and get it to be a perfect fit on you. No matter how wide or narrow your nose bridge is, you can also adjust how high or low it's sitting on your bridge. So I'm a big fan that that's on the aviator. Secondly, they have covered temple tips. So you never have to worry about the temple tips not fitting comfortably or creating pressure points because it's a really flexible material. So you can adjust that, which is just another great feature on the aviator for customizing your fit. Finally, as we're going into the aviator measurements, I do wanna point out that I'm gonna call out the traditional eye size that we're familiar with, for example, 55, but we've noticed that measurement isn't always the best way to understand your frame size, nor how to understand a new frame size. So we have the Sporter X frame width, which takes into account details of the frame and gives us a true frame width for that specific style. I won't go over the, all the details. I've got a video for you to watch where you can see the concept explained, how to do it yourself, and then how to carry that information over when you're picking your size. It's really, really helpful. And I would say watching that in conjunction with today's aviator size guide, you'll be in good hands. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna work our way from the smallest to the largest, cause that makes sense, right? So we're gonna start over here with the 55 eye size. This is actually the aviator size that I wear and it has an SFW of 130. This fits well for a woman's small to medium and a men's medium. For the measurements, it has a bridge size of 14 millimeters, a lens height of 47, and a temple length of 135. Now a quick note on that bridge size that I do wanna point out to you guys. So 14 sounds pretty narrow. If you're familiar with your bridge size or have a certain range you look at when you're shopping for sunglasses, I've got a narrow nose bridge and 14 even to me sounds a little narrow. But the reason why this isn't a huge deal is because that measurement is the most narrow distance between lenses here, but that's not where the frame is making contact with your face. That's the adjustable nose pad, which as we just discussed is how you customize that fit. So don't let the 14 millimeter bridge size freak you out. It's really dependent on the nose pad. So we're gonna see that measurement as we go through the additional styles. Don't worry about it. Adjustable nose pad is the most important feature for that bridge size. Next up, we have the 58 eye size. So this frame is actually referred to by Ray-Ban as the standard size. And as an insider tip for you guys, whenever you're shopping for Ray-Ban frames and you see multiple sizes, if one is labeled standard, that means that 90% of people fit within that size. So if you're not sure standard is always a good starting point, most likely you're gonna end up there. This frame has a Sporter X frame width of 136, and like I said, works well for the majority of people. It has the same bridge size as a smaller one at 14 millimeters, a lens height of 50, and temple length of 135. And finally, we have the biggest of the bunch. This is the 62 eye size. This is a big frame. So if you ever know the struggle of trying to find a frame that fits, or you've tried aviators in the past, maybe you thought the 58 would fit and it still wasn't cutting it, this is your guy. So this one has a Sporter X frame width of 140, which translates to a men's extra large. Again, it has the same bridge size as the other two sizes, which really just proves the point that that bridge size isn't the most important thing on a frame. We're really looking at that adjustable nose pad for custom fit. This one has a larger lens with a height of 54 and a temple length of 140. So we're getting an extra five millimeters on that temple length for the 62 eye size. 
Now I do want to clarify a little confusion on the 62i size because here we're talking about it as the RB3025 62i size, but you might also see this frame as the RB3026 Aviator 2. It is the same frame. I'm here to confirm that information because I know it's confusing. Sometimes those model numbers are used interchangeably and we have compared, there's no difference. It's the same frame, same materials, same measurements. The only slight difference would be color combinations. So I've noticed that sometimes there is some crossover between the two and sometimes there's not. So if you've narrowed it down that 62 is the right size for you, I would just encourage you to look at both style numbers, 3025 Aviator 62, and the 3026 Aviator 2, because that will just give you all the options available in terms of color. And that covers it for the Aviator size guide. We went over measurements, saw them on different models. So now I hope that you're able to determine what the best Aviator size is for you. Now, because we're talking sizes, I have to do a shout out to the Ray-Ban Aviator Junior. This is the RJ9506S. It's tiny, it's mini, it's got the same quality and design as the adult version. It's just shrunken down. I won't go over the specific measurements today, but you can find them on sportrx.com. You can also get all of these frames with prescription lenses, and you can get them with SportRx lenses or Ray-Ban Authentic lenses, which will show your prescription lens with the Ray-Ban logo. Now at SportRx, we understand no matter how much sizing, research you do or measuring, sometimes it's hard to tell how a frame is gonna fit until you have it on. So when you shop with SportRx, you're always backed by our See Better guarantee. Take 45 days with your aviators. See if you like the fit, the coverage, how they feel, all that good stuff. And if you're not totally loving it, just let us know and we'll take care of you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that this helped you determine your Ray-Ban aviator size. If you liked this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Check out our other videos over here. And if you wanna be the first to know when we release new content, go ahead and subscribe. If you've got an idea for something, leave us a comment down below or check us out on social media and we'll be happy to chat with you. Have a good one.